Did you know there are now iPads for mice? Now, I know what you're thinking. A tiny wee tablet they hold on their tiny wee paws. Unfortunately, that's not quite right, although that would be adorable. What they actually are are special, full-size touchscreens designed for mice to use, and they have the potential to revolutionise drug development for brain diseases. I study Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of dementia. Alzheimer's is brutal. While I'm sure you know patients lose their memories of the past, they also lose the ability to form new memories. Mice with Alzheimer's have similar memory problems, but the way that we assess memory in mice and in humans is fundamentally different. Numerous drugs that have performed well using traditional mouse behavioural tests have not been able to treat Alzheimer's in human clinical trials. Part of the reason for this failure could be that difference in the way that we're assessing memory in mice and in humans. For example, one of the most commonly used memory tasks in mice is called the Morris water maze. In this task, a mouse is placed in a circular pool of cloudy water and has to find a hidden platform and then use the decorations around the pool to learn and remember where that platform is. Now, for obvious reasons, we can't throw a patient into a pool of water over and over until they find a hidden platform. But by the same token, we can't ask a mouse if it remembers what it had for lunch or who its siblings are. What we need is a common ground, a test we can apply to humans and experimental animals to try and understand the disease and its potential treatments. This is what I do in my research. One of the most common ways to assess human cognition is to do tasks on a touchpad. I can train mice to do similar tasks to humans, basically using iPads for mice. It's like a computer game for them. The mouse runs up to the screen and has to choose one of several pictures shown that it pokes its wee nose at. If it chooses correctly, it gets a small shot of strawberry milk, which it loves. Using this technique, we can teach mice to do all sorts of tasks in a way that is directly translatable to human patients. The touchscreens give us the tools we need to assess mice in a human, disease-relevant way, and then to see if a drug of interest can treat the symptoms we see. Assessing potential treatments in mice in a way that is directly translatable to human patients will be a key step in finding treatments of Alzheimer's disease and other crippling brain diseases. I'm Amy Shepard from the Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health. Thank you for watching.